Hello, I'm Cristian Artigas and I'm, I'm an orthopedic surgeon from Hospital del Rio, Hospital Roberto del Rio, and this is my daughter, Emilia. She's five years old, and we're here today to show you the normal axis of the lower extremities. As you see, Emilia, at five years old, she has a valgum on both um, lower extremities. You can uh, be objective with the valgum when you measure the axis of the tight and the axis of the leg. We have this goniometer where we have the center of rotation on knees. We put it here and here's the axis of the tight and here's the axis of the leg. And that gives us about nine or 10 degrees of valgum. She is in the normal um, side of the, um, for her age. Remember that at five years old, around five years old, is the maximum valgum that kids will have. We can also measure the distance between both malleoli. We could do this with the same ruler and we have about 10 centimeters which is also normal for her age. So remember, not all valgums are sickness. This is normal and most of them are normal. Complementary to the standing um, examination, we always do lying down to check out the um, laxity of the knees. When the child is standing, it looks more valgum because of the weight. But if she is on, on the floor, we take the weight off and we can assess the laxity of the, of the knee. We use a 20 or 30 degree flexion. We fix the uh, distal femur and you can see how her knee tolerates a great amount of valgum and varum. We do the same on the contralateral side to take their both the same. Little flexion varus and valgus. Okay, so now we're gonna see Emilia's gait. Um, I'm gonna ask her to walk. Amy. So you can see the axis of her lower extremities. She has a valgum, but it's a physiologic valgum. Remember that there's a wide spectrum of um, valgum and most of them are non-pathologic. It's a physiologic valgum.